tonight we party, my friends. Sip on mezcal, I like tequila, damn this shit tasty. Can you not, I made about a million off a pink beanie. I feel like my life is a movie, damn it's too easy. Can't catch me, I'm jumping the borders, hit the embassy, it's bag or die. Guys, welcome to Dope to Been Dying, the <laughs> Sunday Morning Smoke Show. Guys, let's get right into it. I'm your host, Dylan J. Negri. Sitting beside me is your co-host, Kevin Sanchez. Let's go, my boy. Sitting on the other side of the table is your other co-host, DC Williams. Yeah. DC, how you feeling? I feel great, man. And then, and then sitting beside him is our guest returning to the Dope to Podcast, Ooh. the one, the only, Ooh. Julio, Julio Toto, 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 Toto. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. See, I don't, see, he doesn't have the soundboard. Until we have one. <laughs> the intro was fire, man. It just, it just got racist out of nowhere. <laughs> That's what we do out here in Doped Up, man. We get a little racist. You feel me? Yo, we were just talking about how you poppy shampoo out here, bro. Ooh. I just got a, um, not, not a lot of people know this. This is an exclusive drop for the, for for the, the Doped Up, up gang. Pack. Yo, so I just signed a deal. Let's go. Oh, shit. Yeah, with Tressa May. So I'm about to be the Tressa <laughs> <laughs> I'm being commercials like Tresa me, Tresa me. <laughs> Yo, motherfuckers would love that. That would be viral, bro. Yo, like what? We should just start doing um commercials for people and. Just I have see so many ideas viral. for for fucking spoof sketch commercials, bro. Yeah, I swear to God, they're they're my favorite format. So ever, how come how come when we ask you for sketch ideas, you're like I got? Because you guys like think of, you, got, <laughs> you guys think of bad scenarios, right? So I I, I think of my scenarios just like you gotta say it like this if you're gonna. I'm not gonna do lie, it, the yeah. only sketches I ever think about where I want to work with DC again on them is uh, it's yeah. just making DC to do uh, um like re- 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 like reports. Like anytime I see like a crazy never NFL dude, reports. like like um when mm. Antonio Brown. Walked off and was like going crazy and like leaving football. I wanted to go, like, yo, DC, we need to film the sketch of just you doing the post game interview and like a bad Antonio Brown get up just being like, nah, man, I don't give a fuck. I'm go- like, that's good, like DC. Uh, that's like worse than any idea I've ever told you. <laughs> bro, I'm not gonna hold you. You've had a lot of bad ideas. Yeah, Antonio you, bro. Brown is a wild boy. He is, he's he a wild is, boy. I never favorite, understood though. that. Huh? I never said, I never understood like how he left the hate. How he left. Not the hate. I'm saying, like, why would he just... He left because he took his shirt off, right? He got fired for that shit, right? Well, they, well this is why. He got. He left because they weren't targeting him, and he needed, like, one or two more uh, passes to get, to paid. get, like, $2 million. And once he realized that they weren't going to give him that $2 million, he said, fuck y'all then. Yeah. Because they don't really get paid during the playoffs. Did y'all know that? They like, get a they, bonus. They, they get, get bonuses. bonuses. They win, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But they get paid for the season. Mm-hmm. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Okay, I would do the same My thing. My favorite thing yeah. is, uh, I don't know if the NFL is the same. I think it kind of is. In the NBA, if you go to the playoffs, and um, especially if you win the championship, you get everyone gets a bonus. Mm-hmm. But the team gets to sit around and decide what's everyone's percentages. That's crazy. That, and then, I don't is like that, that true? I, just I don't like get, that. It is because there was a story about how there was, um, oh, the reason why I know this is because when Rondo was on the Mavericks, remember when he was just fucking with them? Mm-hmm. He didn't want to be in the Mavericks anymore, but they wouldn't trade him or let him go. So he would just take like 15 second court violations like on purpose and like would just drop the ball and they'd be he like. He was really doing it? What? You don't remember That's this? That's wild. Imagine you like. Rondo's at, towards the end of Rondo's years, like uh, Rajon Rondo didn't give a fuck. On the and, Celtics or where? No, no. Oh, this is after the Right before the Lakers. Okay. Right before the Lakers. After the so, heydays. but they, went, they ended up going to like the playoffs of the first round and they all got like a bonus. Let's say it's 25 grand, whatever the fuck. Mm-hmm. And they were like, all right, we all get 25 grand, but like it's, it's split up in this percentage. They all were like, how much does Rondo get? They were like, zero. Unanimously. Because I zero. played? No, because he was just a dick. Oh. He wasn't wow. someone that wow. like the team was like, they were like, yeah, we're not, we're not giving you any of this money. I, right? I don't like my pay being up to uh, 15 other people. Yeah, because if it was up to like other that. people, you would never get paid. You're like Rajon Rondo. You you're like the Rajon leave, Rondo you can't comedy. Leave it up to other people, though. You're like you're mad really annoying, mean. and all of a sudden you do like a woo, and then like put, do I'm, a, I'm a lot of things. You, I'm right? a lot of things. I don't think I'm annoying though. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I'm annoying. I don't. Do you think I'm annoying? <laughs> like, do you think I'm annoying? Hey, yo, you sound I, like a white girl right now who just got told like something that like. You sound like my you're, girlfriend when I'm like, babe, you know, sometimes you can be I'm a little annoying. overprotective. She's like, I'm overprotective? I'm overprotective. I'm overprotective. I don't, I don't think I'm annoying. I, I think you might be more annoying. Than <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, by the way, I was, never, I was never arguing if I was more or less. <laughs> I don't think DC's not annoying, actually. But I think I grew up around guys like DC. Okay. You know, so. This is between I'm, y'all three more than anything. <laughs> <laughs> Julio. Julio. Bup, Bup Diaz. <laughs> Julio, how'd you get that name? 
Julio Diaz? No, Julio Bop Bop Diaz. Oh, I didn't even know I was getting the Bop Bop part. Who gave oh, me that? Oh, really? That's yeah. out, out here in the streets. That's everyone says you, your dog. name. No, nah, bro. For real? Yeah. I, I've never heard the Bop Bop, but like, yeah. I heard. I, heard, oh, I don't yeah. know. Put me on. I don't know. You, <laughs> never you start the legend. I never heard the Bop Bop. <laughs> Do you, uh, Julio, you could just say anything, and uh, you just you, you could start your own rumors. I would say if people are actually saying pop pop, it's because I go first on a lot of shows because people like my energy. Hey, pop pop, 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 pop. Yeah. pop. yeah. That's Julio. Hey, you pop, want pop. Oh, yeah, yeah. you want quick pops out here? Put Julio Diaz <laughs> up right Diaz. now. Julio pop pop Diaz. Julio pop pop Diaz. Pop pop. I got to work with Julio in the last few months, man. It's been thank you very much. First of all, oh, yeah, you got Julio. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. I didn't get him anything. He got himself that. Oh yeah, no, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't get him anything he got himself that and Julio you know he's a good dude so a I good wanted to hook him up answer by the way well you know I'm uh, I'm over here trying to get a team out now so yeah. <laughs> trying to make a, uh, six figures <laughs> facts <laughs> yeah yeah I'm trying to do it bro I want to make six figures and then I want to save some money this year and then I'm bouncing yeah yeah I'm bouncing I want to buy a casa yeah. Yeah. yeah that's what I'm telling people from here on out by the way why does it sound like you about to fucking move to Yo, it, Playa Del Rey or some shit. No, 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 no. But I want a house, bro. Nah, no, he's Dominican. Oh, he's gonna buy a house guys, in Pennsylvania. I, I know you. Ha- <laughs> I know you. Uh, uh, you podcast listeners have had a hard week with uh, Dan Soto leaving the bonfire. Oh, uh, we also man. announced that Kevin Sanchez apparently is leaving. Doped up. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a tough week for you, fucking podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kevin started doing bye guys and shit. Now he leaving. Uh, yeah, now he think he hot, bro. I think he hot for the streets. Cool, no. he's leaving the day job. He's done with that shit. Like I don't need this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, it, I'm it, talking about. It's gonna be funny when one of us gets like a movie that we can. All like put each other on, mm-hmm. and it's like a good paycheck. And your job no longer has any employees. Okay. What do you mean? Like seven people oh, are gonna oh, oh. seven <laughs> seven people are gonna be there's, there's, there's gonna be no department one day. <laughs> nah, yeah, I think yeah, they're with, gonna show with, it. Be like, yo, where is Kev doing Julio, the hiring? Yet? <laughs> Kevin, no, it's a great job. Honestly, I, great the job, only reason bro. I left is uh, I had some health reasons in the beginning of the month, and it, you gotta hit quota. Like it's a quota job, yeah. but it's they help you out. They teach you how to really Fire. get there. But I personally felt like I wasn't gonna get there, um, and it was kind of stressing me out. I would, I would, I fully committed oh, to so that you job. Oh, you left the job. You did, bro. Yeah, yeah. Well, I you're, left. Not, you're not at it anymore. No, I left, but I left because I didn't want to start looking bad. Like this is really how Fire. I felt. Like I felt like everybody embraced me in there, and the thing that they liked about me the most was I came in energetic. I yeah. was hype. Mm-hmm. And the last few times I was there, it wasn't because of the job. I just personally wasn't. Yeah. Like I, it just wasn't clicking for me anymore. But and you also I, I, tried though, you know, bro. You did. I did. Like, you I did. tried. Say, like, say, made again, an effort say again. Why you didn't? Uh, why you quit before? <clears throat> I personally felt like I wasn't gonna get to the quota. And um, you, but you're fun, you're you're a funny comic. I mean, you know, you don't have to say. I'll say. I'll say it for you. You're a hilarious comic. Can you also say that for the comedians out there that probably need to just. They, ha- they haven't hit the quota of laughs. Oh. And they need, to, they need to take it a step yo, back. Like, I'll keep it real You can get off stage though. and watch a dude and be like, yo, you're not hitting your quota. I'm going to start saying that. You but, get off stage and bomb him, but like, yo, bro, you're not hitting your quota. We all bomb, though. Yeah, yeah, I've yeah, never been that. the type to shit on somebody. You don't know who but they're going to be quotas. in five years. Nah, bro. In the you beginning, hit comedy it was hard. quotas? I only Look, I, I'll keep it real with you. Shout outs to the job because I would have hit quota. They would have helped me. Like, yeah, trust me. Back. Like, yeah. Oh, bro. I mean, I'm leaving the job at 5 36 30 then i'm doing five shows bro i'm yeah. burnt out i'm getting home yeah. by 1 a.m yeah. fucking tired you, 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 you know what's crazy that job you gotta fully dipping. commit you, you gotta get that 8 30 8 o'clock you gotta sell source you gotta sometimes stay till yeah. 8 p.m you gotta fully commit if you want that money and i just felt like i wasn't fully yeah. committed and i didn't want to look bad and i yeah. told someone that i was like i was literally like i wonder why i was like bro i was like when julio leaves out here he's doing three four spots a night bro and then he's come he's getting up to come to work mad early, trying to be on time. Like, that shit is... Yo, awesome. Speaking I of... I was uh, running uh, late. I, wanna, know, uh, bro. I, gonna, I wanted to ask one. Okay, Speaking of spots, uh, you guys did a, a, a show, a comedy show at the business, uh, <laughs> at the yeah. place you work at. Yeah. yeah. And um, was, we... Oh, we explain this. We, we, we had... Got you. We, had, we had to tease DC about it. Right. But it now was, we're going to shut the fuck up because we talked. Gotcha. Give, I, give I, us your story, your perspective you of what happened that night. So if you guys don't know, I don't know what episode we talked about it, but... uh. DC and all them, they all work at a, 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 a startup. A startup, thank you. And uh, they decide, they asked him, like, hey, Kevin, do you guys want to put on a comedy show? And Kevin was like, are ah, sh- you sure? And they were like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he put on a comedy show with these three idiots. It's supposed to be and, a, a um, Christmas roast, but Kev, Christmas roast. Re- Kev reproduced it the last minute. <laughs> so it's supposed By the to way, be a roast, saving but... everyone's jobs. Okay, so let me give you the full now, breakdown. Now you tell us who you are. Yeah, so I'll give you the full breakdown. <laughs> <laughs> it's a startup company doing really great. Yeah, yeah. But okay, so DC has been there for uh, longer than me, but I know Kevin's been there the longest. Yeah. So 
because of the love for him and the trust, they know that we all do comedy. Mm -hmm. They asked him to do like a roast or some type of comedy during the Christmas party. Mm -hmm. I've never worked for a company before, but I've worked for sanitation. I've worked for other. I've worked many jobs. Everybody. This is your first like office job. This is my first office job. Okay. Everybody falls for that Christmas party trap. Yeah. Yeah, everybody gets okay. drunk. Everybody reveals part of themselves yeah. that you're ruining the professional aspect of yeah. what they see in the morning. You have to, even though it's a Christmas party, you yeah. still got to defend By yourself. By the way, you should really yeah. come to the Christmas party here at Gas Digital. Is the first. You wouldn't ever. even know I came because I stay in the cut. You know, <laughs> that's, that's how I like to move. Yeah. By the way, that's the way he was oh, moving yeah, at the Christmas party. Yes. Yeah, yeah. But let's keep going. Let's keep going. I stay in the cut, whatever. So he goes, you want to do some time at the Christmas party. You want to roast this and that. I go, I won't roast nobody. Because I'm not even hitting MSP. I'm not even hitting my quota. You think somebody's going to let me roast them? Are you crazy? That's <laughs> how gotta, I'm thinking. I got to make some money to roast them. Right. No, that's a big fact. That's yeah. first of all. That's big true. fact. That's true. I told him I'll do a set. Mm -hmm. Nobody okay. here see my set. I'll do a set. Okay. And okay, cool. Right? Boom. Yo, Julio got hot girl energy, mm -hmm. though. He mm -hmm. like... I'll do, now, you know, <laughs> I'll do a set. I'll do a set. I know how to not fuck my career up. Anyway. Facts. <laughs> Point the mic towards your face yeah, when you know speak. Hey, you've been, you've been out here. You've Way been too long, too bro. Long, bro. <laughs> it's because he's mixing. He got the natural. Uh, <laughs> and an angry got orchard. The, yeah, and the an angry <laughs> orchard. You a dog? This dude chasing. He's naturally angry, <laughs> bro. He's, he's a, a country thot. That's what that is. <laughs> right there. Country <laughs> thot. He mixed up the uh, angry orchid with what is this? A natty Na light. Natty ice. ice. I'm so trash, bro. Like, fucking crazy. See, we have a natty ice job. If you pay me. You, I could, I'll fly you. You know what I mean? I'll let you fly me out. <laughs> you a thot. All right. <laughs> so, Hako Julio says, I'll do a set. Yeah, I'll do a set. Bet. Boom. I had two shows before I even showed up that night. So, I was already in a rhythm. I was a little tipsy already. They got me, like, drinks there. But I was focused on what I was going to do. And I had another show after. So, I'm like, I'm treating this as such. I only stayed there for like 30 minutes. That's all I yeah. could really popped stay. In, popped Nigga out. made a cameo, popped made in, an appearance. Basically. Okay, so you did your set, it went. And then I had to go. But yo, I bodied that shit. Mm -hmm. I yeah, included, that's what I heard. He I included shit. how I felt at the company. I included shit that I know they would laugh mm -hmm. at. They have like snacks in the office and shit. Yeah. Like you could just, they, they take care of you really good, right? Nice. They just, you just snack jokes. Right, so I did a joke about how Y'all be coming in, and then, you know, the snacks be there, but I don't be selling shit, so I don't want nobody to be like, this motherfucker don't even sell shit, but he want to eat all the Cheetos and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Fat fuck over here. Get on the phone, bitch. <laughs> good office shit. Right, good, good office, office shit. shit that they could vibe with. Then I hit him with who I was and whatever. I bodied that Kevin shit. hosting or DC? Kevin, I, Kevin hosted, but yeah. I forgot. I went first, right? You went yeah, first. you went all first. Right. I didn't appreciate so, you bodying that shit. Like right, so. right. <laughs> but even that. if, like, trust me, the the mistake was that you actually tried to roast people there. Yo, that's exactly what like, a mistake. Yo, who, hey, for the hold people on, that, hold on, hold on, bro, <laughs> bro. I'm looking. I'm thinking like he got the program. Right? He understands I'm the rhythm. He understands that like the reason why I don't want to roast because this shit could go awry, <laughs> right? And <laughs> you didn't hit quota. <laughs> Either you weren't even here. That's what at I the said time. too. I was like, you're Some not even that. Yo, <laughs> yo, DC got yo, confidence, bro. Said, no, but shout out to him. That because scene, he, DC says with fucking confidence. He did hit quarter. He smashed the last month though. Yeah. Okay, but during December, no. And <laughs> what made it worse was it wasn't like he was trying. He was trying to roast everybody, including what I would deem the Michael Jordan of the company, yeah. Mike Tobin. That's shout what I heard. out to Mike Tobin. Bro, his brother's like he's official tissue. There's other people there too, but like. Consistently, just, like at a certain that's number, what I'm I, like, I heard that's DC crazy, walked dude. up on stage and immediately Started was just like, I'm simply just better than y'all niggas. <laughs> crazy. I'm simply just more annoying than you niggas. Crazy, yes. Get off my dick. Yes. <laughs> Making fun of Michael Jordan. That shit was crazy. That's like somebody you've never heard of, not even in the last dance documentary, talking about, yo, Michael Jordan, you know? <laughs> but like, who are you? Stop. <laughs> that's how I was, I was like, Mike DC, stop. If Mike Tobin was looking at that shit on an iPad, like Michael Jordan was at the last dance, just yeah. looking at Gary Payton talk like that shit. Person. That's exactly what now, it was. By the way, Mike Tobin sounds like the name of the dude who's gonna star in Wolf of Wall Street Part Two. Like, but he's mad that cool though. Mad cool Wolf of Wall Street. Cool. Do I gotta censor this name? Nah, no, no, nah. Good. Tobin's a legend. He's, he's gonna be at the stand Sunday. Legend in these streets. Yeah. Yeah. The only thing to cut out was what I had mentioned before the story. Other than that, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but nah, man. And um, but this is every company party. This is like a sanitation. Yeah. People get too drunk and start talking about crazy shit. DC, were you too drunk? Nah, nah. No, not that's yet. That's a problem. It was tipsy, not yet. though. That's a problem. I was a little tipsy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what's wild? You guys seen the video of the cop at the cop party, the cop office party? And like the fuck, blowing five dudes, and and the and the girl starts doing these crazy lap dances on the sergeant, mm -mm. and the sergeant, yeah, and they filmed it, they put it out, the wife, and she got fired. Everybody got fired. Yeah, everybody got fired, bro. Why do you get fired for fun? Because bro, why would you put that out, like? You got to understand, like, 
yes, everybody parties, whatever, but there's a certain aspect of, like, I want to look at a police officer and just think this is a police officer. Of course, yeah. Off yeah. work, whatever. Who it is, whatever. That's true. Yeah. I don't need to know you're doing it. That's why... I, I realized uh, that's why what gotta have that you gotta have different sides to you. Yeah. I have my office side. That's why I left Facts. the office. One hundred percent. I feel like I'm talking to office Julio right now. This bro. isn't an this interview, is, um, Julio. You can let your hair down. No, he is. Nah. He's, he's pretty. Well, Julio is always he's, he's always up. pretty level headed. Uh, yeah. Like guy, he's a level headed dude. He is. He is. Yeah. And you, Kev made a Kev called an audible when she asked us to do the shit. I was like, yo, did Ke Kenzie asked you to do the roast. Like, I'm down to do it. And in the chat, he was like. Yo, can we do a like a meter? Basically, like, can we do a rating on how mu who wants to be roasted and all that? Kenzie was like, perfect. Yeah. They sent it back and they gave it like a G rating to like X rating. And, to and then what I do? And they, I saw who wrote. I'm like, don't talk about thumb. Don't yeah, talk yeah, about yeah. Thumb. Don't talk yeah. about thumb. The people who said G rated thumb, 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 PG, thumb. I was like, I'm not even gonna. Thumb, thumb, thumb. You doing the thumb song? Man, yeah. Thumb, thumb, thumb. But it was good. Nah, but that, like, can't front. Kev got on that mic. And started just shitting on fucking the CRO, and I was like, "But that's his relationship with him." He, but I, I didn't Actually, know that. I had no relationship. Yeah. With him. <laughs> I thought Kev met him in Austin, bro. That like, you know of, but you don't know how he views you. That's true. I you don't. That's why I was so, when he did you. that. I was well. I want to answer. I want to, to establish dominance. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. I was like, this guy's crazy, no, bro. I, what I wanted to do was just to make sure, like that, like. In case a comic went up there and mm -hmm. said some wild shit, mm -hmm. they were like, "Well, we just, they went at the CRO." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right. So like, yeah, but if he's not complaining, we can't mm -hmm. be. The complaining. problem is DC heard you do that and go, and then was like, "Oh, right, I'm go gonna pantomime masturbating in front of our CRO." Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and I was, was like, that "This was is your wife." Hilarious. Then after whoa, that, whoa, 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 he a wild boy. He yeah. did a whole central roast. You would have thought like, <laughs> "Bro, this <laughs> is." Yo, bro, bro, by the way, look. I was more mad because from what I heard is you did the Patrice thing where you had a paper and you went, honestly, I was going to read this shit. I read it off my phone. Yeah, yeah. But I was, I'm going to go off the dome. Yeah. You. No, I didn't. I wrote all those jokes, bro. You're they so bad they asked me, You're they gave so me an assignment. If you give me an assignment, that's what I'm doing. I wrote, without the help of Kev, I wrote fucking seven jokes that like we were supposed to do. And Kev was like, is listen, one, was this one is, of them mine? This, no, 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 no. None of them was that huh, funny. But <laughs> so I went up there and I did that shit. And what I where I fucked up was when Kenzie grabbed the mic from me for sim simulating masturbation on stage. I decided to go back wait, on wait, stage. You got the mic pulled from you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The and district that... manager ran up there and took the mic from me. And then after that, I was like, wait, but I'm not done, though. And I went back and took the mic right. from the CRO. And then, by the way, this is sober DC. I feel like drunk DC semi -sober, has more. Semi -sober. I was drinking. I was drinking. So I sent some drunk texts that So what'd you do? What'd you do? Open bar. I ran up there and I took that mic from Spicer. And I was like, I just said my last, I got off my last joke. And, you know, they laughed. I walked away. But I wasn't, none of that was being processed. Like, I didn't process that. The fucking district manager already took the mic from me. You ran back on stage and took the mic from that guy. And, like, he was getting. Yeah. So let me ask so, you. So Deez is on stage fighting with the mic. With bro, something. he didn't even fight. He yeah. snatched that shit yeah, bro. and said, "I ain't finished." Yeah. <laughs> you Kanye West? Them? You Kanye? What he did, mm -hmm. yo? <laughs> bro, you tell me to do comedy, bro. I just I had him just like. I'm doing comedy, but bro. That's why you know. Shout yeah, out to, to the brain. company because they're yeah. really cool, man. Like yes, they, they real. really. It's it's a hard job to begin with, mm -hmm. That's and dope, they though. really build a a family as aspect with yeah. you, where it's like, no, we got your back. And even if you don't get there, it's like, it don't mean you were a failure or anything. It just didn't work out, but we yeah. could still be cool. Like, they're really, really cool there. And, and the I, I wanted to leave on good terms. Cool. You, you they, you, they should make a full house, a, a version of Full House, but, like, shot in, like, where are you from? Like, uh, Williamsburg. I don't I didn't want to guess. You Williamsburg? Yeah, yeah. yeah I didn't, Before I was it was expecting that. Either. Before, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or, But you should be, you should be a, like a Williamsburg family. You work in sanitation, and you come home, and your kids are just like... I, I want to do bad shit. No, I gotta work on sanitation. You gotta, you gotta do that. You gotta do that. I would love to see Julio as America's dad. Hell yeah! Wait, Hell yeah. Hell yeah. wait Julio, talk, 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 talk to your future son. Like, if you, so I, 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 I came home and I was, uh, I was, I was getting, I was getting fucked up in school. Like, uh, I, I was, uh, I was fighting. I'm uh, fighting. Ready? You know, sometimes you really just gotta sit there and think about whether you, what you're doing now is gonna be something you want to look back on in five years. Mm. You know, you're watching a movie every time you think back on your life. And if, if you're into what you're doing now, then, yeah, I'm not going to stop you. I can't stop you because you're going to do what you want to do anyways. But time goes by fast. So you got to see. That time goes by fast. I'm sorry, Dad. <laughs> I should have been fucking around school.
shit. You know you would have smacked that man, bro. But that was real. That was hard. That was from the heart. That was bad heart. He sounds like hard. Sounds like uh, like uh, one of my uncles. I'm telling you, he's like the new. I'm telling you, who you are, the Dominican Danny Tanner. (laughs) Shout out to them for letting us do that. This episode, they let me leave every week an hour early to do this fucking pod, and that shit is crazy. There's nothing I could ask for more, bro. Yo, bro, I was late. Yeah, I was. You know, I didn't want to make it like a thing about me, but like sometimes I was late. Sometimes I needed to like call out for sick reasons and shit and like you like, you shouldn't like doing that. You know you're not a bad you, like you're not a a what? fucked dude where you're like I like calling out. I like leaving them yeah. hanging. Because I know when I really needed it, they would look out for me. So yeah, I wanted yeah. to make sure the days that I didn't, I built up a consistency That's with fine. me. And I really liked the opportunity. That's like, funny. DC great. said he sent it's a lot of crazy bro. uh drunk texts. And you're a good person, night. bro. What's the best drunk text you guys have ever sent? The or the oh, worst, I should say. Bro, it's honestly never. But by, by, you know, when I say best, I mean worst. Best. The worst was on Super Bowl Sunday. Recently? 2015. Yo, you have a day. Okay. Specific. 2015 Super wow. Bowl Sunday, bro. I was, I was sitting on the couch. I was heartbroken. Yeah, yeah. I'll even say I was heart. Oh, I was heart. <laughs> I was heartbroken, bro. Like mm-hmm. play the music again. Uh-huh. I was. <laughs> it's Super Bowl Sunday. Right, right. Yeah. It's the worst Super Bowl I've I ever seen. It was mm. the Panthers. To that. Versus whoever. Mm. The Broncos. Oh, yeah. Yep. Okay, I remember that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Trash ass Super Bowl. Mm. And I was at the Super Bowl party with all my military buddies, and they're all with their ladies. Yeah. <laughs> And they're not even paying attention to the game because the game is trash. Everybody's like kissing their girl. And I'm just on the couch like this. Like I picture a mad comedian like, like a bust. Everyone's bro. like fingering. And Kevin's like, yo, why did I come to this party? Oh, that's like, how it I said, felt. Or, it said orgy on the flyer. Crazy. Bro, it just so happened to be on the Super Bowl, I, Kev. I hope. I, and then you know what? That's not we even, have TVs in house. That's not even far fetched because the military boys party. are wild. Yeah. <laughs> the military boys are wild. Hey, Kev, sh- can you pass me the lube? Thank they you, be so, sharing wives. So you just sitting there with no pussy to call your own. No pussy to call my own, bro. Mad sad, Damn. and and I texted my ex at the time, and I was like, "Yo, it was mad. Some <laughs> it was so corny, bro." Damn. All I remember was saying some shit like, "It wasn't like I want you back, baby." But it was like, you're going to regret this. <laughs> <laughs> I never sent one of those what? before. I was like, you're going to regret this. And I didn't the even worst. know I was going to do stand-up at the time. And I was like, I'm going to be on every billboard. They ain't even had no plans yet. No plans. <laughs> I was like, I'm going to be on every billboard. Uh, wherever you at, I'm going to make sure. Bro, there's something. Bam, there's, billboard, front of your building. Mm-hmm. There's, <laughs> there's something You're going to see my face everywhere. There's something special about laying in your bed in your boxers at like three in the morning or whatever the fuck. You're just at somewhere and you're like in a crib smoking weed, not doing shit. You're like, I bet you. I'm telling you. you what's wild is this. Drunk energy is crazy. Wa- drunk energy is crazy because what's wild is I wasn't even in that scenario. I was with people around me sending this text being mad silent. Mm-hmm. Then after that, I went to a bar. Mm. A had, bar. Two, had two, three, four drinks in a row. I thought, what am I doing? Yeah. Hoping that some girl will be there <laughs> you know, that I could pick up. Not about uggos, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah, yeah. And, 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 oh, and you thought you deserved it better than that at the time? You at thought the time, you were better than the uggos. Yeah, I, I like how you sad, but you still have an ego. That's I, funny. Always. Yeah. So like, then I take a, a, a red cap home that's him because we're the name of this podcast should just be egos between the three of us. <laughs> 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 that's, that's good. That's true. Let's rebrand <laughs> season three. Egos. 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 Can anyone else's fit in here with Dylan's? <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it every <laughs> week. <laughs> Tune in next week to see a fully filled room of ego. Um, so I get out the cab and my cab driver's a woman and she's kind of hot. That's a bad mm. night. Okay. Oh, no. Right? So, no, nah, I don't do anything, okay. bro. I just get out the cab. I thought, I thought and she it had started, a poo-poo mouth. It started snowing a little bit, and I didn't see the like the road like that. So, when I get out the cab, I slip. Damn. Fell on my back, and she, I just hear her go, ah! No. <laughs> and then, because I'm going, wait, wait, wait. I'm, I'm. I'm going into a military base. Oh, this is so embarrassing. And I see these people pointing and laughing at me. So it's my boys, you know? Yeah, like, yeah. it's the military police. And they're like, yo, Ken, what happened, Ken? Damn. Because I'm heartbroken. Damn, bro, nigga. Yeah. Back broken. Yo, bro, nigga. it was embarrassing, bro. That man. is, especially after you sent that text and that's what happened to you. Yeah. That's a bad yeah. And she didn't even, then she texted me back like uh, two like two hours later. And the cab driver? No. Oh. It was, the, it was my ex. <laughs> Sorry. It was the most like 
official tissue presidential response you yeah, could ever send a human diplomatic being about diplomatic it, about it. She was <laughs> like, I hope to see those billboards. Oh, <laughs> that's even she was asshole, supportive. bro. Uh, yeah, she was supportive. I hope you become who you're supposed those to become. Yo, those girls, those exes are sometimes the hardest, bro. Hardest, dog. I wish you nothing but the, the best. best. I could never hate you. And then say some wild say shit some so wild I could go shit. off. Yeah, yeah. Yo, I wanted, I wanted some, tr- I wanted yeah. some drama. That the shit, people suing me. I crazy. asked her. I asked my Twitter this. And I want to ask you, uh, you guys, this. Um, what you asking? Tweet. What you asking uh, I, I had a Twitter good tweet, shit? bro. I had a good tweet. If you guys are going to have a threesome, Natalie, you're in on this, by the way. If you guys are going to have a transition, if you guys, gonna, <laughs> if you guys were to have a threesome with two girls, but their looks had an equal, equal ten, what numbers would you choose? What? Oh, I get it, like a seven three, a six yeah. and four. Oh, okay. Yeah, Let's yeah. Some math question. Um, I could fuck two fives. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's fair. <laughs> I think that's more than fair. Because two fives make a dime, right? That's Natalie Ice. I know what I'm going bro. with. I'm, what are you going with? I'll go ahead, Julio. You go. I was going to say a one and a nine. Yes, sir. All right. One, one and, and a, a nine. nine. So my yes. favorite answer I heard so far where someone goes uh, a nine and a one and make the one eat my ass. Wow, that's, exactly that's creative. What I was gonna say. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's what I was going to say. That's exactly what I was going to say. The one is nah, doing all the legwork. What you got to do is you got to pay more attention to the one. Ooh, get Ooh. the 10 <laughs> jealous. Get the nine. Get the crazy. nine. Ooh, nine. Yeah. Right, nine. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. right. Yeah. Hug up with the one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My guy got strategy. I like it. <laughs> he was I like cuddling it. one. Yeah. <laughs> make, you know, make that nine shots. feel like she needs to start turning into a one. Okay. Right. So I would... she'll start putting in one hardcore energy like the one already. <laughs> That's fire. Yeah. That's fire. I would do a, I would do a seven and an eight, bro. No, 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 wait, come on, your math, your math is eight, terrible. Man. Your math is horrible. That was crazy. I'd do a seven oh, and an eight. Wow. <laughs> I would do a seven and an eight, <laughs> man. <laughs> What's, what what happened? What happened? I did I didn't fail math twice Uh-oh, in high school, bro. I did it. I did have to take a Ring class again, bro. I'm just saying. You, you know what you did wrong? I bro, uh, you said you asked me, uh-huh. right? In one no, in I some didn't. in one of these cultures and countries, what I just said makes ten. I don't know how, but the it math, does. how, what? So <laughs> what country? <laughs> what country does seven plus what eight equals ten? <laughs> what country is that? <laughs> Bro, listen to me, bro. There is out there, bro. Have you ever heard of um sacred mathematics? Are you arguing this? No, the yeah, fa- <laughs> no, you're really like I thought maybe you made a mistake. You're doubling down, and yeah. now I'm like scared. <laughs> Yo, DC, I'm double just saying, down. Bro. He's like, you ever did Kundalini math? Yeah. <laughs> you if your seventh chakra plus the eighth chakra, you eat the tenth level. That's the Jesus level. <laughs> so you do get it. So you're me all this because we're talking about basic math. Okay. Seven plus three is ten. My bad, my bad. I don't know how to do Yo, nothing you, basic, I never bro. Just just fail a <laughs> word problem. That involved the pussy. That's no, what no. he was saying in school when the teacher was like, two plus two is four. He's like, no, it's not. Because if I had two past lives plus two futures, I'm existing in a three. <laughs> and she'd be like, DC, yo, elevated that's arguments. Not gonna pass you. Not, I'm like, no, elevated arguments out. young in school be like, so your son's failing math. <laughs> You're just DC. Honestly, that question you asked are the type of questions that need to be on um, in work assignments. Like in class assignments, you remember they would always have if Todd has three bricks and four. If DC, they if need that to question, ask dumb questions. If that bro. question was on job applications, you would be homeless. If that question was on job I applications, I wouldn't apply here. for that job. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. In school, it was the um. If this guy had four apples, yeah. And then this apple, what happens? Well, why the fuck am I giving her two apples to begin with? <laughs> fuck that, right? Exactly. Him, fuck the apples. You're like, yo. If you had to make a ten <laughs> in a threesome, what would you? Dudes would be like. Yo, I got this, bro. You know what I mean? Like, I know this formula. Like, I'm never, I'm never, I'm never lending DC money. <laughs> I'd be like, yo, bro, it's been three years. Nah, but if you're thinking about it, <laughs> three years divided by 365 days, how much do I really owe you? <laughs> like, also, what? what are years when you think about it? There were all these beings inside of a world with multidimensional beings. Right. So, Yo, man, finish sorry. it. You gotta finish that. I can't think. I was Brad with you. I was so excited. You. I was like, "Who is <laughs> going mad yeah, quick?" Yeah, if you talk, you, nah, he's not even going quick. He's talking slow. Very dude. slow, bro. Nah, bro. That was quick. <laughs> I was supporting you. My dick. Yo, nothing worse than when your joke runs out of gas, bro. Oh my goodness. In the bro. fifth, in the fifth element. You know, I like that See, movie. I got there. Fire. Fifth element was, was <laughs> fire. Yo, who is fire. Yo, who is the most? We're basically who Dominican, so Bruce Willis classic. Fifth yeah, element, we're so basically who Chris classic. Tucker was in that movie. 
What? Like the over top, like radio host personality. I see what you're trying to do, but no, we're not going to skip off the fact that seven Uh, plus eight (laughs) was 10. We're going to talk about the seven and the three that you have to talk about. We're not skipping over that fact. No. I can't do a seven and an eight. All right, okay, all right. okay, okay. You don't understand. So all right. now he has, gets it now. Has to equal I, I guess, ten. I guess. I guess. It has to, it has <laughs> I to guessed equal, it. It has to equal. Yo, ten. DC, that's there we go. Yeah, there we go. There he is right there. DC, that's you us, gotta, bro. You gotta come like that. Why? I gotta do that Why for the, do for the movie, Halloween? right? Yeah. That's, that's just fire. Halloween. That's you explaining that the math is. problem. <laughs> <laughs> hey, seven plus eight. Come on, man. What the fuck you mean? I caught it though. Did you break a glass? That was so loud. Yeah, no, I didn't. But it sounded like I did. No. Seven plus eight. Yo, guys, mm. it's been so, yeah, yeah. all right. You know how I, I, I want to talk about New York City right now, bro. <laughs> this guy, bro. Uh, yeah, we we're talking about seven and eight. Three three this man intros. can't do math. Yo, I'm just gonna, <laughs> I'm just gonna switch the subject. But so I'm, I'm walking through. Um, uh, I want to move to Austin. Okay, right? that's why everybody, everybody's upset because I want to leave New York. Uh oh, retard alert! Don't do that. Come on, bro. That's retarded. <laughs> he right. said, uh, hey, 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 he saw Ryan Long on fucking Joe Rogan. Was like, yeah. I gotta move. Yeah. <laughs> nah, bro. I could, it's nah, like, you want to do what you want to do. I want to do what I want to do, bro. I'm fucking with like, you, bro. You've like, been saying that for years, bro. My <laughs> qu- the quality of life here is mm-hmm. just not it no more for me, bro. I feel you. Like this is getting crazy out you here. You know, I am. And nobody's of... doing shit about it, Dylan. Speaking yeah. of shit, I'm sick of grabbing my friends and be like, "Yo, don't send me that shit." Oh. My bo- like, yeah. That's not normal. Don't send you what shit? Like, when you like, just walk in the streets in New York. You dog see, shit. Like, yeah. sh- sh- or human shit or on human the street. Shit, yeah. But, yo, bro, shit on the way. <laughs> I started doing that to him, um, and he was like, what are you talking? He's like, you just know where the shit I'm like, no, but if you, if I was living in Harlem, and Harlem is a place with a lot of Caribbeans and Latins, and one thing we Caribbean people, Latin people don't do is clean up after no oh, fucking dogs. loud shits. We, yeah, we let That's them take a shit, food. and then we walk right. away like a dog and do yeah, nothing, and, bro. and those dogs be eating like what we eat. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, we, don't buy, we don't yeah. buy dog food, dog. They yeah. eating salami. They chicken? eating they eating jerk chicken. This they eating broth and all. This shit is bad. They be having diarrhea. It should Di- be crazy. Fast. Yo, so, yeah, also, by the way, how do, you, how do you scoop up diarrhea? Can nah, you, you just gotta walk bro. away. You <laughs> walk away. I'm, like, yeah. I'm not gonna hold you, bro. When I walk my dog sometimes, well, it's my, brother's, dog? it's my brother's dog, oh. but sometimes I walk it, and bro, so this motherfucker shits, and I always forget to pick it up, bro. How do you forget? Yeah, 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 I yeah, always yeah, forget to pick forget. it up. Got bags you with me forget. and everything, bro. You don't forget. But you know what I do, though? I'm not a dick. I don't let him just shit on the curb. I'll make sure he does it in the grass. If you if you're on sidewalk most of the time in New York and you step in the grass, that's your fault, bro. He takes a shit, he covers it in dirt, and he fucking. Yeah, I never told I never told you this, I, and I think he does know this. You know, uh, my sister's dog. Uh, when, my sister used to live in New York. She lives in Florida now. Shout uh, out to Banksy. Uh, her dog Banksy. Um, when I used to walk her so after gay? she, uh, what? She gay? Is the dog gay? No, she's just an artist. Okay. Because <laughs> you know Banksy was gay. No, he's not. Banksy, the artist, is gay. For real. Yeah. Does anyone know who Banksy is? I think yeah. a photo was recently released. I do know who he is. I don't think the photos are real. I didn't no, know but I was gonna say. Though. So my uh, I, I, my sister's a tiny, you know, uh, woman in New York, but she was uh, have her dog and she'd be up in the Upper East Side walking it. And there was one time when I came to visit, I was walking Banksy, and after she poops, Banksy always runs, like she just wants to like just run. And I said, Dad, I was like, yeah, it's so funny. Every time Banksy goes like poop, like she wants to run. She's like, yeah, isn't it cute? And then one day it dawned on me, I was like, oh, she runs after she poops because my sister used to just be like, come on, Banksy, come on, and just like run and make, it a, and make it a game. So everyone's now looking at the cute dog, like doing like a shit, cute little running. like booty shuffle yeah. while she's like trying to play. Well, like no one's paying attention. She didn't just pick up the shit. Took a turn. It is, bro. That's a smart move. Smart. Real Jew. What were you saying though about New York City? <laughs> so you're walking, bro, bro, I'm walking through New yeah. York City, bro. It's Atlantic Avenue in Brooklyn. Uh-huh. Mm. And... I'm going to my next account, and this is crazy dude. There's a black dude, uh-huh. and he looks kind of crazy. He has face tattoos, but yeah. I ain't paying no mind because everybody now you, got you could, yeah, yeah. Everybody got I face tattoos. Crazy. He was like seven yeah. plus eight equals yeah. ten. <laughs> Yo, so bro, he has face <laughs> tattoos, bro. But then this will threw me off. As I'm getting closer, I'm realizing he has like insane clown posse tattoos. Uh, and I never seen a black dude. With you ICP explained this. Tattoos. You said he had the, the he had the, the, the black the, nose. The black nose. I'm like, that's kind of weird. And then my man looks, he starts pulling out a hammer and he points it at my head. Wow. As I'm walking right next to him. Find out if Kevin died on the next episode of (laughs) Bro. Oh, wait, dumped up and maybe. So he fucking pulls out what I think is a hammer, bro. Because the way he pulled it out was just like that. And he points it right at my head. I go like this, I duck a little bit. And I realized like it was like a lighter. Right? Like a torch, sorry, yeah. not a lighter, a torch. 
And I'm like, yo, bro, like, I thought that's how it was going to end. It was a test. I really thought that's how yeah. this shit was going to end, bro. You thought you were going to go out like that? Yeah, I thought it was going to go out like, like a that. A rando was just going to fucking yeah. clip you. And then you and Dylan you know be making memorial shows at the stand. <laughs> <laughs> like, what, this bro? This 50 tickets every time, you dog. You die, bro. I'm going to hit your family at your house, Kev. When's the funeral? Like, it's really sad. Like, I really love Kev. I yeah. thought he's one of the funniest people I knew. Also, do you know where his notepad is? I <laughs> 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 you know my stories are going to be lit for the next month. Oh <laughs> my, my stories God. are just going to be at, uh, just me be like, yo, guys, this shit is terrible. Buy tickets to Dope Dope Memorial. Hey, I'm not gonna lie. At the stand, <laughs> you die right now in comedy. Niggas gonna be like, yo, you know, I always thought he's gonna be the next Patrice. <laughs> <laughs> You're like bullshit. You die when you yeah. uh, artist. If you would just start saying crazy, crazy. shit. Yo, just by like, the way, I hope you know, and I hope you guys would do this for me, and I would do it for everyone in this room. Everyone. Okay, let's. If lie. one of us died prematurely, God forbid, mm -hmm. I would just start spreading good rumors. Be like, you know, Netflix literally just signed him to like a three-year hour special deal for like <laughs> hour uh, hour funny. a year. Trying like, to clean up the filth. Yeah, like, <laughs> I'd be like, yo, you know, he's actually about to do a movie with Adam Sandler. Yeah, good things will come out about me though. Yeah, yeah. I've done some favors for some, pe for some people. Facts. Like, what know, do you okay? think your girl would do? My bad. girl, she told me she'll flip the fuck out, bro. Yo, I yeah, would tell everybody would. until I die that you got me an office job. <laughs> 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 I'm well, dead. I picture Julio on his dead. deathbed, like years from now, like surrounded by all your family, it's the future, and you're just like, oh, last words also. Look up Kevin Sanchez, he was a good man. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I just, yo, bro, I, I can't do this no more, bro. Like, also, I can't afford shit, bro. Yeah. I don't know how we all yo, You said some by. funny shit to me this morning, bro. How, you were talking about where you live. That he's like, you were like, I, I was like, yo, I, I know you got to move and all that stuff. You're like, no, no, no. I, I figured the reason why I've been so stressed that I need to move is because I've been going out and about without headphones. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I started laughing. He was serious. I thought he was doing a bit or something. I was like, bro, this guy's crazy. Yo, Kevin, bro. understanding, he goes, do I have anger issues? Yeah, or have I lost my headphones? Bro, he came back <laughs> like he solved. It. He's like, nah, it's, it's not just her. It's me. I keep going out without headphones. Yeah, it's like, nah, bro. But that shit is for real in New York. You need headphones. You need headphones. You need headphones. But then again, yeah, I've been riding the most fire shit. Yeah. In the last. I'm I'm it'd be like, like that, bro. Yeah. yeah. On the booster board, you put in headphones, but not listen to music. Like on my electric skateboard, and you just think, I would just think of jokes bro, and like do my. Me, me and Dylan shit. almost got robbed. When? Let me tell you what Dylan did. This guy's such a robbable guy, bro. bro. Let me tell. We bro. going. We going up to East Harlem. He's so dramatic. Oh my I'm not God. dramatic, bro. I am not dramatic. No, you're dramatic, Mister. I don't want to go to Harlem because I think I'm gonna die. No, we're not even near. Harlem. Yeah, look, listen what happened. So we're on 59th Street. I don't even. I don't even. But we're on the six train going up. You in up. Columbus Circle? <laughs> <laughs> we on the six train going up. That's Harlem to me. This guy, bro. That's we're, Harlem. We're to next me. to the fucking Trump Tower, Fifty Eighth yes, Street, are, bro. You know the cost of living here. So we're on the six train on Fifty Ninth, right? Mm -hmm. We're moving. We're going up, and these three Diablos go up, to come in, bro. Yeah, like yeah, these shit. dudes, like, like, two dudes with ski masks, oh, and no, one wow. dude regular. Like he yeah. don't even give a fuck what cameras is out. Right? Get happy like unicorn music queued up for my part of the story. It's okay. like really so, dumb happy music. So my man's over here. I didn't realize what he had on, but he had like five hundred dollar pair of Jordans. Mm. And I'm like, and they this dude is looking, and he doesn't really know me and Dylan know each other. Like, oh, he doesn't care. He's like looking, and he sees he sees Dylan, and Dylan's on his phone looking all happy and shit. <laughs> and these guys look mad hungry. <laughs> like you know, like that hood hungry, yes, bro. Struggle. They look like struggle. Like, they look like struggle, bro. I, guys, I don't judge anyone by the color of their skin. Or I wasn't. I didn't say anything like or, that. Um, how I, they uh, come onto the train. I, I don't look at someone and go, "He's struggling." I look at someone and go, "They're them." I should have let you get. We robbed. get it. You don't judge people. I should have let you get robbed. Really quick, Dylan. Advice: If you're scared to go to Harlem, bro, don't wear five hundred dollar Jordans, bro. We're bro, dirty vans. We're the shit you wear when you're in the Lower East Side. They're the Nigel <laughs> Sylvester's. They have like scratches ingrained on them. Bro, oh, they, the they distressed look like ones that people can't get anymore. Yeah, bro. bro, so these on. dudes already they clocked them as soon as they yeah. walked in the train. They clocked them, and then they in the corner, and he's like this. But I swear he's looking he's like this. And yeah. I say, I look at Dylan, like, get off your phone, bro. You can see the grease. Yeah, get off your phone. So he gets off his phone. Man's is now he's looking at me. Yeah, he's like, fur. Yeah, oh, you gonna help? I, and then for him to do shit, bro, he walks out the train and he goes, pussy. And I was, I just had to eat that. Even but, but, <laughs> you, but, yeah. Because you were, you that. knew what was put potentially, you saw the whole shit in yeah. your head. You're like, yo, we're probably going to get raw. And the crazy thing about that shit is that the fucking, if you live in New York long enough, you will hear people discussing whether or not they should rob you. 
Yeah. That shit has happened to me twice, bro. <laughs> and I'm just like, oh, nah. Walk to the train, call in an Uber, bro. Fuck that, bro. I, 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 uh, I know Kevin's been going through a hard time in New York. A lot of crazy shit's been happening to him. He just had a guy Existential crisis. pull a, a, a fake gun to, to his head and like try to crazy. attempt to like you know crazy shit. Seeing multiple people get stabbed. I don't uh, I don't believe this happened. You don't believe what the that someone was looking at your door in the closet. I think three dudes, no spicy dudes. You're you're got on the train and we're just being spicy in the corner. Bro. And Kev because before we even got to the train before we even we were on I live on fucking downtown Sixth Street and. We were walking, and he's like, yo, bro, by the way, before we go, like, uptown, like, crazy shit's been happening. These streets are crazy. Don't do nothing stupid, okay? So, like, he's already paranoid. So, when you're paranoid, what do you see? No. Shit that's not I disagree there. with this motherfucker 100%. The guy literally called me a you bitch. You know when you... Well, I'm mean, a pussy. Yeah, yeah. You know, he you, kept me talking to his friend. I call you, you guys bro, pussy all the time. You know time. what you don't see when you're white? Your surroundings, bro. <laughs> like, that's what, you, that's what you've been sticking for. I promise you. I Dominican promise you. Danny Tanner, can you help me out here? <laughs> Kev has never. He goes nah. <laughs> I've never nah, been in a situation. Shit happens. Where, you gotta know. You, you gotta, gotta bro. I've never been in a situation with Kev where he was like, "Yo, DC, those guys were gonna rock." Obviously, you knew. I've I've been in those situations, seen shit or whatever. I'm like, "Oh, these motherfuckers are moving kind of weird out hit, here." What like, made you say? We gotta get into questions and shit. What made you say? They're gonna rob us because he was looking at you. And you. He, he was looking at you specifically. And he was like literally frothing at the mouth, bro. He was like, he was like, we don't, we don't live in a cartoon universe. Nah, shit happens. Though. Nah, bro, we bro. live in New York, bro. Okay. What is, bro he was looking at you, you like bro. this. I swear to everything I okay. love. Okay. Dylan, he was looking at you. He was like, you got somewhere to run on the train? Yeah, bro. I, I, nah, I don't run. I'm gonna square the fuck up. Dylan, I, I just realized though, the I gotta come up here, with bro. a game plan when I hang out with you after a certain street. So like, what's the game plan here? Like, are we just gonna let you get robbed? Or no, like, he's always, are we going to fight? I don't not, really want to fight. By the, way, by the way, he said to me, he, uh, Kevin goes, you know how to fight? I realized I never asked this. By the way, he's watched me fight. Like, Yo, these are real questions that like I've been robbed before. and I, it's yeah. the, It wasn't like I was just by myself. I was with... I, I should have just kept going, but I felt bad for this dude. It was like, <laughs> yeah, I was walking home from school, and it was me, <laughs> some freshman that <laughs> I didn't know, some guy and another robbed. guy that I knew, and like these three dudes just popped out of nowhere. So the f the dude that I didn't know, he went inside the store, and instead of going inside the store, I stayed with the freshman I didn't know. Mm -hmm. Boom! But then, yo, I swear to God, those three dudes out of nowhere they multiplied, dog. <laughs> Five other dudes came from around the store. I swear to God, shit happens, dog. Yeah, oh, yes, it you does. don't know why. And now I end up getting robbed, and now I gotta eat shit because mm -hmm. you know people yeah. want to act tough when you're getting robbed. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at this guy. I know he's not gonna fight. So now I hope you know if you let me get robbed, I'd unbook you for dope. There is no letting get Yo, robbed. Bro, it's no, like if he says robbed, run it, bro. He you just, better run it. He like, just asked you. You gotta know in the scenario whether yeah. you and him know that y'all just getting robbed. That is what it is. Or if you really want to put up a fight, or he does, are you gonna fight? Oh, with you're me? asking me, are we fighting for this? Yeah. Or, or, or you know, it's, or it doesn't. Or, or we running these. You pockets. don't always no, have oh, to we're fight. fighting, bro. No, 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 we're not. No, 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 no. Fight. We get robbed. I am not fighting over Jordans. I got robbed in my story, but like. I wasn't willing to put up a fight, but if I noticed he would, who knows? But then thank God that I trusted that because then they multiplied it to five and then the whole school came. It was like a school beef that I had nothing to do with, but exactly. I got caught up in the mix. Bullshit. Shit happens like that. Damn, shit happens like that. Shit happens like that. Shit, like that. Shit, you can like be that. guilty by shit. Shit happened like bro, that. Bro, I swear to God, went to a little art event way out in Brooklyn by Tiny Cupboard or whatever. That's a, that that area. I just randomly saw my homie and he was like, he was at this shit, whatever. Had a good time. I'm leaving. I'm going out. I'm waiting for Uber. I'm just trying to back some check. Whatever. These dudes are standing. They keep looking at me though. Mm. I'm a I'm a hyper sensitive individual. Mm -hmm. Like, and when I mean that, I don't mean emotional. I mean I'm very aware of my surroundings. I'm very aware of people's behavior. When I say actions, hyper sen sensitive, I mean emotional. A face twitch, mm -hmm. whatever it is. Uh, and more importantly, I grew up in places where my mom would be like, "Stay inside past a certain time." You yeah. know what I mean? Jamaica Queens, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. I play so outside I'm looking with no at shoes. these dudes. I see how they're moving. My shoes are very white, but they're they're fucking ninety dollar Air Forces. You know what I mean? These motherfuckers are looking at me like I don't know. They they saw some extra. I don't know what it is. I just know there was too much looking and too much whispering. Yeah. And I know what that shit leads to, right? Yeah, ghetto senses start tingling. Exactly, right? Yeah. So I look at my Uber two minutes away. I cross the street. Yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, bro. I was fucking <laughs> this last year, bro. It was oh, like fucking was last, last summer, year. bro. Get the fuck out of here, bro. I'm not. Well, fucking... the story when I first got hired at gas, where a dude pulled a gun on me, I I, I tried calling an Uber too. Wait. No, no, no. See, no, no. See, the first thing I did was cross the street. 
So I'm not going to give you the time to debate. Should we should we just steal on them now and then whatever, no. whatever it is. I crossed the motherfucking street. So now my view is I can see them and I can wait for my Uber at the same time. Uber came there. Like, bro, I don't, I, don't, I don't play that shit, bro. I, motherfuckers move a certain type of way out here. I'm no. not about that life, so I'm Yo, not doing you that. Him, pss, 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 pss. Bro, I heard, you got to start making moves. You, 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 you're, either, them, if you start here, pss, pss, you're either getting robbed or bro. you have a cat. That's, that was a good one. I like that one. The cat, I didn't see that, that one coming. So stupid. I like that one. That was funny. Misdirection. No, that was that was that was. <laughs> well, yeah, bro. Like people, people be too. People, motherfuckers rob you for anything, bro. They don't know why. Bro, and it happens fast. It happens so, fast. Like, sometimes bro. you gotta cross the street. I be like, yo, so guys, my question is, are stain, my stain question. Jordans. You don't want them. Dylan, answer my question. Yeah. Are you just gonna get? Some you people give just up really need shoes. <laughs> um. There'd probably be some hesitation. I bet you. Bro. No, I, I, I didn't know there was rules of just like, oh, yeah, we just give our stuff. I, I get it. There's rules. I probably would have been like, what? If you, yeah. got, if you got no connections in New York, for Bro. a fact, you don't have a gun on you. You don't know who has a gun on them, so you have to move in accordingly. Exactly, bro. This is not South Florida, fam. In accordance. And if you're going to go there and you feel like, yo, I'm scared to be in Harlem, dressed like this, take an Uber, bro. Yes, is it worth it to lose $30 going to do a show? Maybe not, bro, but you got to take an Uber. Like, I, listen, but I, I, I never argued. I, there's a reason I don't go to Harlem, bro. I'm, You're too I'm, tall. People can see you. Motherfuckers yeah, can see No one's not going to see you. I, 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 also, I don't go outside much. But I do like, think they hesitated. Hey, I do think they hesitated because he's a tall dude. Oh, I, I'm telling you. That's my pro- it, I they probably you. didn't know you was with him, too. Huh? And was, they, they, didn't, they didn't know until like, I, I But he called you. Up. Exactly. So By they, the way, they the way that Kevin let them know, we were sitting next to each other. He was on my right. And he was like, yo, Dylan, get up your phone. And he was like, I got to let them know that I'm with you. I gotta kiss you on the cheek. I was like, "Boy, like, I gotta kiss you on the cheek." This is stupid. Bro. <laughs> and we started making out, and it was like, "I." Right, yeah, no. Oh shit! And they were like, the way, "No hate crimes." By the and way, they walked off the train. Uh, Kevin walked. Pussy. Kevin walked me to the train, and he goes, "Yo, bro, text me when you back downtown." I'm like, not gonna. Hold. I was like, "All right, bet." No, 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 wait. Friend. I got on the train, and right across me was I swear I got was two white dudes with like like up hair that was like you know like gelled. You felt immediately. Two, no, no, two gay dudes hugging each other and like kissing each other like. I was like, oh, wait. I was like, bro, if anyone's getting robbed on the train, it's them. Oh, no, it's still you, bro. I was going to say, yeah. I was going to say, if you and Kev started kissing, they would have changed their minds, bro. They 100% like, these niggas on some weird shit, bro. Like, I'm going to get out. I'm going to go on and put them shits on. Ultimately. I've always said this since I was a kid. Uh, that's a way to get out of a fight with like a really hood uh, gang well, dude. Pull your dick I, out. Uh, no, Derek Dresher and Gio. One time they were fucking around. We were like about to like wrestle out there. I was like, bro, I'll fuck you before I stuff. fight you. And he was like, yo, what? <laughs> Where are your Y'all way? split these cheeks right <laughs> now, dog. I bro, fucking you, you love me, faggot. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> my, my, Mike Tyson said that. I'm yeah. just quoting him. I'm just quoting <laughs> I, I, yo, yo. I just quote but, um, him. Yeah. <laughs> Ultimately, <laughs> anybody can get robbed. Anybody can get robbed. All right, fine. Anything. It's all about scenario. Speaking of Jordans, though. Hey, Dylan, thank you for coming through to your hood lesson. Brand new Jordan. <laughs> yeah, 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 but you're in the Lower East Side, bro. Some people just need shoes. And by the way, by the way, the Lower East Side, it, it's yeah, is it peppered with white people? But this place is sketchy, bro. Bro, why? Let you know that, right? I'm just letting you know that. I'm just letting you know that. Sketchy everywhere, dog. Yeah, that's, that's all I'm saying. It's, it's getting wild out. Sketchy it's, everywhere. It's, it's getting saying, warmer bro. every time it gets warmer. That's what you taught me. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching Dope Dub Podcast. If you wanted to go support Dope Dub Podcast, go support our sponsor, Zia Farms. Zia Farms does everything for us around here, sponsors everything that we do. So, guys, go support them. That's Z E F H E M P dot com. Go to Z E F H E M P dot com and go support Zia Farms and use the code Doped hyphen up. That's D O P E D hyphen U P. And you'll get like, I think it's like 50 or 80% off. It's a ridiculous fucking discount. So, guys, go support. See your farms and doped up and get high with all of us. Let's get Thank back you. Into the show. Um, let's get into some. Let's get into some plugs and move on. Something Fine. Wild. Do you want me to give the Jordans? What? Do you? Would you want me to give the Jordans? Yeah, you would have to give the Jordans. What do you mean? As I don't That's want you. I don't want you. To. But if someone is, if you're great, if we're getting robbed and they have weapons, I I need to know that you know the procedure, bro. Fight. Uh, okay. Nah. <laughs> nah. Cat, bro. Uh, yeah. I mean, I, I've only gotten robbed like in middle school. Rob, where, like you go to your backpack and your shit's just gone. No, I told you, fucking two lesbians tried to rob me in California. Oh yeah, no, I'm saying me. Yeah. I've only been robbed like that. I'm... Julio Pop Pop Diaz. Yeah. Tell me where to find you. Uh, Julio Diaz comedy on everything, even the website. Julio Diaz comedy on Venmo, boop, boop, boop. Cash App, <laughs> fucking uh, yeah, your uh, my Gmail, my <laughs> Instagram, <laughs> everything. Julio Diaz comedy. Um, I YouTube you. I, I YouTube your name, bro. You got some pretty good SEO, man. What's SEO? S- search engine optimization. For but real? Nah, you're the one of the first two. It comes. It's DC Williams right. comedy, and then Julio Diaz. I swear to God. Fire. Swear to God. Swear to God. Thank so you, though. DC Williams. 
Um, follow me online on Instagram at DC Williams Comedy. Um, keep liking, subscribing, and sharing. And um, yeah, March 5th, we are at The Stand Sunday, oh, yeah. 9 p.m. Please Bo -bo come out. It's been a great month. Um, shows this week, but y'all are going to miss them anyway. So, like, but please come out March 5th, man. Uh, I love you guys. Keep liking, subscribing, and sharing Dope the Podcast. All right, the great unrobable Kevin Sanchez. Yo. I don't know why DC keeps saying come out this Sunday because oh so that's not this, so I said March ah, 5th. I said no, oh I said oh, no you can't come out no March no but 5th. still come still come and say you're here for the Dota show I need 20 people to do that even though we're sold oh yeah, I need a lot <laughs> I need a I, honestly I, let's, let's yeah. over invite yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> we're already at that point though hey, bro, my we, gotta, we gotta turn you away did you invite me to a show that sold out yeah, yeah I just need them I just <laughs> want them to want us to be there a little bit you know Kevin Sanchez yo so follow me on Wild Kevin Sanchez on Instagram Twitter YouTube. Um, I got content about to come out and drop Let's real go. soon for the Fire. one time for the one time. A little dating show about yeah. dating boop, called, boop. called Off the Hinges. Boop, it's boop. about to Off be fire. Hinges. I'm actually about to go speed yeah. dating uh, like a week What? What city? New York, man. Yeah. Hey, you bitches in New York, hey, go you, speed dating uh, in D.C. Updating? No, updating? Nah. You should hit just... up Brendan Berman and do his um, New York updating shows. No, I'm trying to go like for real speed dating. I want it to be fun, not like speed trying dating to for fun. speed that dating is like, like you know, speed dating is like, you lead somebody on and then you dip. <laughs> <laughs> speed dating. Stupid. All right, and before we do my plug, let's get into the great Natalie Ice. Natalie. Ice, ice, uh, Natalie, did wow, you go that. edits on Instagram? Wow. Um, Watch Gas Digital now with me and Blind Mike on YouTube. Kevin yes. and I made an episode that's not airing, but Let's if you go. see this, you should DM me and I'll send it to you. It's not airing? It's not airing. Because no, they said, you've Mike been on gas it. all week. <laughs> you've been on gas digital. Yeah, he got too much airtime. He capped out. I capped no out. Yo, way. we just giving this guy fame for no reason. Who is this guy? He's a fucking personality, man. Hey, Come man, on. people like the go show. Watch, go watch Kevin on uh, Spook Show. Yes, by guys. And by guys. Yeah. Oh, you did spook and by guys. Okay. <laughs> you gay, scary he's motherfucker. Both of <laughs> <laughs> by the way, he's both of those things. 13% gay. Get it right. <laughs> Hell yeah. It changes every time. And guys, go follow me at Dylan J. Negri on everything. DylanComedy.com for all show dates coming up. And like, like you already heard the show, uh, the Doped Up Comedy. Uh, go follow Doped Up Comedy on Please. all things. And uh, like, um, the video's been going great on YouTube. Thank you so much for all the, the new YouTube subscribers. Everyone's saying we're gonna have Panji back on. We will relax. And um, 100. um, what? So he should have been episode 100, right? Nah, episode 100 <laughs> was great, bro. What are you yeah, talking about? Was, go was actually, great. honestly, go watch last week's episode with the great Natty. Yo, Natty, you got us some solid views for that episode. And, uh, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, they bro, were all me. A, I'm telling you, she, 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 she's a bigger personality than bro, you, bro. I'm telling bro, you, bro. She got it. Bad. Obviously, bigger than you, nigga. What are you talking about? <laughs> what is he bigger talking than about? <laughs> bigger than you, nigga. Bigger than you. Bigger than you. I'll go solo. This shit bigger than you. <laughs> But uh, yeah, go follow me at Dylan J Negri. Uh, uh, come out March fifth to hang out because the show sold out. Yo. But if you can't see us March fifth, come out March 9th and twenty third to our shows downtown. Where? LES Con Body, Con Body. Yes, uh, secret lineup. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Secret lineup means. And then, <laughs> so it's gonna be a lot of fun. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Secret so lineup. March 9th. Pop out. Y'all might see Julio Diaz at one of the shows, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, Julio, you wanna go up? Yeah, yeah. Let me ah, Julio Diaz is ball. Yeah. I got people at work like, yo, is Julio performing down? I'm not coming. I was like, you didn't have to say that. But. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, uh, yeah, March 9th and March 23rd, Dope Dope Comedy, LES, and then Road Dates coming soon. Thank Let's you guys. Go. Let's go. Let's go. Yo, Julio. I like the way we do our plugs, yo. Yeah, I really do because honestly, that's one of the energy. I, honestly, we're gonna we have to start with the plugs <laughs> because our energies, crazy, I, my energy's picked up right now. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. I'm ready to do an hour. Yeah, Let's yeah. go. An hour of podcasting or set? Both. Everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Everywhere. Every, every I'm day. doing some fire shit. If you're asking right Tim Dillon, they're the yeah. same thing. Nah, mm. you 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 came up with some fire concepts. You told me that was good. Uh, all right, Julio, I'm going to ask you some questions. This is the Munchies moment presented by Fuck It Round this 2. He's just taking shots at Tim Till. Yeah, yo, yo, <laughs> son. Like, what is wrong with well, this guy? <laughs> you better chill. Tim Dillon's going to think you flirted with him, dog. Facts. Bro, I am. Like, who's this twink making fun of me? <laughs> by the way, I met, I met Tim. I was apparently sure too did. old for him. Oh, were you really? <laughs> Damn. I made, I made out. I made out of that. He's on his yo. real shit. Um, okay. Tim did it a fat lid out of the cap. Yo, dog. I didn't never said that. <laughs> That's what you said. That's what you implied. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo. <laughs>
Hey, all right. Um, this Who's is the that Mon- Dominican boy? He's my <laughs> dog. <laughs> this is the Munchies moment presented by Fuck It Round Two. That's also my other show. Mm-hmm. And uh, Hulu, I'm gonna ask you a bunch, of, a couple questions about food and stuff, and uh, you just answer right. quickly and honestly with whatever you think is best. But hey, Dylan's like that dude, the producer in the industry of seven shows, that keep telling you they're gonna get picked up. <laughs> <laughs> and you just keep believing them and shit. I don't even know where that came from, dog. Because he, he said that's my other show. He what y- said, what y'all oh, need to oh, do? Oh, oh. What y'all need to do for the edit for real is play back him saying what he just said and play back Dylan because I've never seen somebody look at that in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Dylan was like. <laughs> I do have a lot of shows that people should pick up. <laughs> I, in, in the back of my head, I go, I, in my head, I hope you know I went, DC, y'all, one more. In <laughs> I saw it. I saw it in his face. Watch when you play it y'all, back. one more. Crazy. Oh, he multi corny thank God, now. I was like, in my head, I was like, yo, two strikes, motherfucker. You got one more in you. Julio Diaz is the multi moment we presented my fucking round to. Okay. DC, you fucking bitch. <laughs> sour candy or chocolate? Yeah, get angry. Sour candy. Best sour candy. Um... So, the sour Skittle uh, Sour Skittles Nah but it's like No sour Starburst The little The packs though Okay The, the, the little minis The unwrapped mini minis shits. Unwrapped this minis is fire. Mm-hmm. It's fire Grilled cheese Or cheese quesadilla Damn grilled cheese <laughs> Why'd you say damn like that Because that's a oh, good That's yeah. a good like Versus But I think grilled cheese Is just nostalgic Yeah mm. But also bro Cheese quesadilla is whack bro yeah, I need some chicken in Thank that you. quesadilla. Thank something, you, something. I, I, you need some. Tortillas, tortillas is you trash really... without the chicken. El pollo tortillas? con queso. Tortillas, yes. Yes. That's what we need. Okay. But some people I thought you were like, singing. I, <laughs> I, I dead ass oh, thought you were singing that. But I swear, I thought I was like, all right, DC. I don't know how that goes. Yo, oh, by the way, <laughs> 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 Yo, shout out to my guy, Bad Bunny. Shout out to Bad Bunny. Bad Bunny, man. my man. Bagging. They should call him Bag Bunny. Bag Bunny. Bag Bunny. Bag Bunny. Shout out to the motherfucking most prominent, iconic Puerto Rican Latin guy alive right now. Alive right now. Get in the bag. Bagging Kendall. Kendall. Whatever her name is. Kendall. But also. Why'd you say her name like a road in Harlem? Also, the only motherfucker that got me listening to multiple songs in straight Spanish, I don't know what the fuck he's saying. But you know it's fine. And I'm listening to it in my iPod, so shout out to him there. Yeah. Julio, high seat fruit punch or Kool-Aid? Damn, Kool-Aid. Chicken sandwich or burger? Chicken sandwich. Chicken wings or chicken sandwich? Chicken sandwich. Uh, Best chicken sandwich you've had? Um... I bet. Shout outs to um I wanna get their names right. It's Anthony and Sons Panini Shop in Williamsburg, Graham. That's an ill plug. Damn, that's bro. Yo, bro. Dope. Yeah. That's an insider yeah, right bro. there. By the way, fire. by the way, if you're a fan of the show and you just show up to this place and it's a deli, you better say my name. <laughs> <laughs> Julio Diaz. I, I listen to Doped Up. Yeah. Straight up, I'm gonna walk in that bitch like I want the Julio Diaz. That's yo. it. That's yo. it. So they have a sandwich. They, they give you a chicken. They give you a chicken sandwich with a Kool Aid. Say the name again. With some sour Starburst. Anthony and Sons Panini Shop on Graham and Williamsburg. They're fucking fire. Yo, clip that, Nat. Clip that. <laughs> um, best fast food restaurant. Best fast food restaurant. Um, Wendy's. What do you, what do you Yo, this is going to sound terrible, but it's just like I always felt like I got more bang for the buck when I was high. Taco Bell. I love Taco, oh, Taco okay. Bell's fire, bro. Nah, like, people like, people nah. sleep on Taco Bell, bro. So Taco fire, Bell's one of my right? favorites. Yeah. They're my favorites. They're yo, the as, when I was like on my fat, fat shit, like when I didn't care, <laughs> yo, I would go to Taco Bell. And I felt like a king, son. <laughs> <laughs> bro, Fifteen dollars gets you a lot. Bitch, bro, what? Uh, not anymore. But um, I, Taco. There's I mean, times I, I like, Taco. My favorite thing about Taco Bell is over ordering. Cause yeah, Taco Bell, yeah. you get to throw away food. Yeah, that's and true. I don't know what it is. <laughs> throw away what? I've never thrown it away. Throw away what? what exactly. Throw no, away no, no. what? Wait, <laughs> I'll get like a, the value meal and then something else. So there's always like maybe one taco or like something left over that something. I wasn't in the mood for. But you but don't throw it out. You eat it like half an hour later when you thought you were full. The problem with Dylan is yeah. that he orders too much. He orders like fast food in bulk sometimes, which is yeah. weird. Yeah. One time, one time I was with Dylan and that. his girl. Yeah, and we were at Cooper's. And I was like, do I got to help pay for this shit? Because they ordered like 19 plates. And I was nah, like, that's, that's true, so many. That's so much that's food, not true, bro. Just, just to eat tomorrow and the day after that. Yeah, yeah. I will say one no, time. no, he left it there. <laughs> wow. I wonder, You're that's what was bad for you. Nah, that's true. Start giving hey, bro, it away. When you up, you st- well, he, you nah, he was up, though. <laughs> he was up. <laughs> you up. Were you up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he had made some money. I could tell he had made some money. you up, you up, Because he was like, yo, Kev, I got the meal, dog. He had like five straight I'm meals dead, where he paid bro. for me. I was like, wow, this guy is really a good friend, bro. He stayed by me, fool. Kev, on, on, the, on that note, though, uh, after this, you down to go to Cooper's and you pay? 
I, I'm pretty broke right Damn. now. So <laughs> I'm trying to buy a house. Yo, make some money. That's my new excuse, yo. Bro, that's my new excuse, yo. Kev, you want to go do something? Nah, I'm trying to buy a house. Honestly, bro, I think I used that excuse last week. Let's go. Um, right, okay. Uh, yeah, <laughs> so, uh, what's your order that went um, Taco Bell? I gotta get um, they it's like a classic. It comes with like the burrito, the taco, and then something else. I gotta get that. So you hitting all three? Yeah, yeah. All three, you know, um, categories. You had a grilled cheese Whoa. burrito. Grilled cheese? No. I begin the grilled cheese. They burrito. got that. It, it's a burrito wrapped with toasted cheese. Julio, honestly, I don't want to tell you this. I feel like I'm gonna lose you. And what do you do? Bro. You gotta order it. No, no, bro. They, it's a, it's their thing, and it's their new item. Damn, I'm about to go there. Bro, cheese burrito. <laughs> bro, my favorite shit was the fucking hard shell wrapped in a soft shell. Oh, that uh, cheese gordita oh, those, crunch. Yeah, those shits is fire. Bro, I, gordita. That, that, it's not even a real thing, but it's so fire. It's bro. Good. That's oh, my, that's just God, my answer. Bro. Yo, and this end of name too. Like, yo, you want to get that? Gordita. Yo, you about yeah, to be a gordita. Gordita. Oh, yeah. Gordita. Yeah. Gordita. Yeah. Gordita. 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 How many like, chubby like, people? No, no, not just chubby people that they call Gordo. Hey, mira Gordo, ven aquí. Yo, so like <laughs> in Dominican, I don't want to say Dominican culture. I would it's, just say bad. my family, like when you make money, you you eat. Cause yeah, yeah, like yeah. you've It's a sign of wealth. Yes. You know, it's a sign of wealth, but just like it's like it's just already ingrained in you when you were young. Uh not me specifically, but like I could imagine from my father, my grandfather, the people before them, like you ain't have much, so you want to make sure your kids eat. So you grow up in this culture of like overeating. I'm pretty See, sure Italians are different. like you that. You get money, you buy cocaine, order way too much food, and be like, yo, I wasn't even hungry. It bro. was like that. For, in ter- we're talking about probably things? like that with a lot of people. Yeah, right? I was going to say, if we're talking about like um, fucking king times and fucking, you know, having like matriarch, whatever it is, like they definitely fucking, being fat was a sign of wealth. Jamaican mm-hmm. culture too, like if you look too skinny, They'll tell you like you need to eat or something's yeah. wrong with you. Your mom treats you like something's wrong with you. Well, your best drink to pair with your weed. Best drink to pair with my weed, y'all. It's bad. I think so. Everybody has different addictions in life. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> my addiction for the longest has always been soda, bro. Yeah, bro. Soda, I'm trying to stop it right now. I would rather drink soda over beer. Just I'm yeah, not that type of person. Yeah, like 100%. people are chilling. Like, yo, you want a Henny Coke? I'm like, nah, I'll take a Coke. Take a Coke, though. Yeah, take a Coke, <laughs> for real. That's crazy. Oh, Josh, By the way, I, the, a friend of the show, Josh Pallet, one time told me I just wanted a Coke because I like soda, too. I love soda. And I'm pouring this soda, and I love it. I'm, like, pour, pouring it over mm-hmm. ice. That's my shit. I love soda. And then Josh goes, yo, you just drinking that? <laughs> Just to drink soda? Yeah, that's crazy. What the fuck's wrong with you? Yeah, that's crazy. You just doing that with no alcohol. You just gonna have and yo, bro, he made me feel so small. Like, <laughs> yo, I help. stopped drinking soda for four months, bro. <laughs> but I thought I thought, I, I, thought I was like cute and funny to go up to a bar and be like, you know, like in a movie, be like, yo, can I get a Hennessy and Cope but no Hennessy? Or like whatever the fuck. I was like, oh, Jack and Cope but no Jack. And then at the bar's been so just a coke, but yeah, I did it one time at a bar. She was unhappy. Yeah, you yeah thought I could imagine. Funny yeah. to, to make Roll them the make fuck less up, money dickhead. Money. Let me see your ID again. <laughs> like, just for that as soon as you order that, coke. nah, this shit's fake. I'm keeping this. That's my real ID. It's as not soon as you, First of all, I knew not to give you honey because you ordered coke with it. No one drink it like that. That's a Facts. waste of honey. And also, no, I worked in a restaurant long enough to know as soon as you come to that bar and order something with no alcohol in it, they're disgusted with they you. They hate bro. you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they're disgusted with you. By the way, to a bowling alley and. In Harlem, yeah, and not Harlem, excuse me, Forty Second Street, which yeah. is basically Harlem adjacent. It's not when it's a bowling alley. When it's the bowling alley, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I said, "Yo, can I get? I didn't want to. I don't even feel like drinking. Let me get a Coke, bro." She was like, "And." <laughs> I was like, just a yeah, coke. motherfucker. She was not nah, and and yeah, upset. <laughs> oh, you just gonna drink a coke? Yeah. All right, yo, he just drinking a coke. Guys. Yeah, He's trying to embarrass they me. Sure. What are you trying to get it to work? Yo, he don't got no money, yo. He spent all his money on the lane. And I fit and as a customer, <laughs> <laughs> as a customer, I'm like, I get you, but from working in the service industry so long. You're like, oh, this motherfucker's about to spend no money in My this My brother bitch, told oh, me bro. that the best thing he's ever done was work at one of these bowling alleys, in a, like a hood bowling alley, because like, if you if you overpour Henny by just a little bit, your tip goes up. They three, always six, overpour, nine. bro. Black right. Spots be hiring people, chicks who are not bartenders. Oh, you got to leave soon, right? Mm, my bad. Yeah. No, no, you got to leave soon. I'm, I'm going to ask you a couple more questions, and we'll hop right out of here. I'm sorry, guys. Best, no, you're good. Best food from your childhood you still eat now? Oh, um, man. Um, I would definitely say... It's a typical Spanish shit, but like anything my mom makes is fire. So I would, I would, anything that has like platano in it. I'm a real fire. like green 
meat type of person. I so just like, a lot, a lot long time. Dominican food would be like like Spanish food is the only food. If I had to eat one f- like type of food forever, it'd be like Spanish. Because it's simple food. but heavy. Like yeah, it's bro. always rice, some type of protein. I'm not gonna lie. Green. I don't know if it's because I'm Caribbean, good, like, like good. Rice. Rice. Caribbean, but Dominican food to me is better than other Spanish food. Okay. Yeah. Peruvian, they're they're like, not gonna argue with you. Spanish from yeah. Spain. I. It's just. I don't know. I like the. F- I'm used to a lot of flavor and spice. So also, you said. Uh. Uh. All right, two more questions. You said. Uh. You love soda. Yeah. What's your soda of choice, man? Um. Dr. Pepper for me. Obviously, Dr. Pepper. I love Dr. Now I'm not even saying this to bullshit you. Like when I tried Dr. Pepper, it changed my life. <laughs> love Dr. Pepper. Um. And then. Um. The first time I had Dr. Dominican Pepper, sodas. I was angry. Why? Cause I ordered a Coke and I wasn't ready for that flavor. Yeah. <laughs> you like, yo, that shit was, bro. Why the fuck is Coke ex- exist? Yo, it's can I ask different. a quick question? Why is Coke? Because how does seven Coca-Cola. plus eight does not equal ten? Yeah, that too. But uh, we'll get back to that. How does uh, how why is Coke called such a popular beverage amongst like Latin America? marketing? Is it the marketing? Yeah, marketing. The na- okay, because you go overseas. I don't know a, a Spanish person that does not like a glass bottle of Coca-Cola. No, Coca-Cola came out first, mm-hmm. so they already beat everybody in the market yeah, on yeah. that. There yeah. was an every. I mean, there's there's places that don't have clean water, but they have yeah. Coca-Cola. Yeah. Supply. yeah, yeah. So like they're everywhere, and then just the marketing, the red. Um, the the, the commercials what? with the polar bears, they're very family oriented. Yeah. Um, also, cola feels Spanish. I mean, like, baby, it like does. Cola. The word cola mm-hmm. does. Like cola. I thought that was why. And then last question, who you you can hop out right out of here. Um, you walk into a bodega and you have five seconds to order. What do you say? And you can't say bacon, egg, and cheese, and you can't say uh, chopped cheese. I always go with like a hot grilled chicken, hot Ooh. grilled chicken on the she grill. Like if they chicken got the lemon chicken. Oh. Chicken cutlet, yeah. But you like, get special uh, the chicken cutlet at deli. I get the lemon chicken with the, um, that what? Dominican cheese. What's Dominican oh, cheese? The white Dominican cheese? cheese. Yeah, oh. hell yeah. I get that shit on a on a. It's thick on as fuck. Those but yo, the bodegas right here don't. That's the one thing I will say about bodegas in like Brooklyn is you, you, you can get some like you can get crazy with the cheeses there. Yeah, yeah, they got different types. Get crazy. Dominican shits. Yeah. And what's your favorite show right now to watch? High. My favorite show right now to watch high. Old or new. Man, um, I'm not even trying to bullshit. I haven't been watching shows. Facts. That man said I'm booked, bro. <laughs> I, have an, I have an addictive, like, I get addicted to shit and I want to yeah. finish. Mm. So out of... You're like, I don't do it. Yeah, I've been, like, I've been trying to finish The Walking Dead only because <laughs> walk, my bro. girl had brought it back up. And I'm mm-hmm. like, okay, let me try and finish it. But yo, bro, like... Just start with Last of Us. There's six episodes in. Right. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. then it's I want to keep it's up fine. and stuff. Yeah. But I, I, w- I would say... um. Damn, what was the last show I saw that was fire? Um, damn. Sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. Blanking, bro. <laughs> The last, last show I saw what, I was fire was What's the last mine, movie you've watched? Okay, so when I'm high, high, what do you do? I like watching Hunter x Hunter, and I like watching fire. um. There we go. I know uh, the Last me. Dance because I get motivational nice. high. Nice. The last. Nice. <laughs> yeah, motivational, like motivational high. Motiva- bro. Motivational high is one of the best highs. Bro, of that shit is. Oh, I'm so happy you touched yo, on you, that, bro. Yo, yeah. when I'm high and I'm watching yeah. Mike Tyson clips, yeah. when I'm watching Mike Tyson, I fucking, I fucking take you down, I fucking eat your children, bro. I start getting high from that. I always know when we're all smoking weed when we. Send each other like the we'll send each other dumb clips of just like NBA like like NBA like interviews as being mm. like well maybe they should have gone me better I don't know what to tell you it's just like really high like like bro, energy high and you're like yo bro we're just high shit yo when you, when did you know you had it like that when I woke up but you know you're not about to do nothing with that energy because you high but you right. like it nah, you like I'll be riding my ass off what I mean I. Yeah, Next you hour wake up in the morning like there. This shit. All right, guys. Good. If you can, all right, guys. Julio Diaz is to pop out of here. Thank you so much for watching. Thank Dope you, the uh, Dope the podcast. The Sunday, Sunday morning smoke, smoke show. show. Wait, if you're gonna stay tuned to the Patreon, uh, we always do a watch along. But since you can't do it this week, we're actually filming today um, a really special segment that's gonna be out in a, a friend of uh, our friend's movie coming out soon. And uh, we touched on it a couple episodes ago. But uh, if you want to see some behind the scenes of us filming that and doing that, that'll be on the Patreon. So, guys. See you on the Patreon.